morning everyone. How is everyone today? Uh, currently in route to the wet park. Uh, it's a fair old drive for me. About 45 k's, something like that. Um, I just thought I'd pop the camera on and have a little chat. Thank you for all of those new subscribers. Just totally loving it. I didn't think we'd reach the over the, over the thousand mark. No, it was just one of those things. I'm trying to, you know, just create content for everyone. Don't mind me shouting. I'm trying to shout over top of the road noise. This car makes a lot of road noise. So, yeah. Um, so, I'll bring us back when we're back out of the weird park. And we'll get right into the live action. Started visiting at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles. Isn't it spectacular when you can see the sunrise popping over the trees? We're here at the Wee Park, uh, boat ramp. I'm yet to go and empty their bins out yet. I always like coming here, seeing how high the water level is and that sort of thing. Up this way we've got an off take where it flows into here. We've got another one that goes around the corner and goes out to a channel. Um, and then over here we've got the main section that follows the Murrumbidgee River. I've never actually explained this, but that's where it all goes. It goes, this is actually the Murrumbidgee River. So that's where we're located. But anyway, let's get going get into the live action and get into these two here and we'll go up to the big big one up the front all right wonder what we got in these i haven't had a look yet let's just open this up i did pick up a bag and we've been doing it a little bit in the dark i couldn't couldn't record it because i didn't have a torch unload that but that's what we have already for the morning pretty good start for the morning I've been going since dark oh about five o'clock I reckon it was so, doesn't start getting daylight here until about seven quarter past seven something like that well we got a couple in here we got a couple in here I'll put that there so we don't want that we want that one no, no label on those. No label on that one. So that's a no take. We'll take that one. What's in this one? Oh, we've got a box. Got a box of goodies. Here's a no take. Hill no take. Oh yeah. Put that into there. Yes, yes. It's always a good start. Right. That's it for that. There's a damn frog trying to get at me. <laughs> anyway, let's get going up to the big skip in. Wonder what they're going to give us. Oh, there's a pallet up there. That can go in here. We're going to take that heater. Well, there's a folding table there too. I might have a look at that. Got a bit of steel on it. Oh, there goes a froggy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, some ballasts and lights. Yeah, we'll take those. Did I do this? No. Yeah, this was last week's. Yeah, I didn't cover it over. I think. Yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to take the light. I might even see if it works. But anyway, let's open it all up. Instead of delaying looking at it, get the job done, eh? Hey? Damn, how many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to have to make a bit of room here so I can get up the side. that light out first oh, yeah. well, 
that's a no-go. She shorted out. Take that. Let's take that part. Take that. Take that. That's the way. Don't take the ballast out. And all the other bits and pieces. Leave the plastic behind. We don't want the plastic. There. Right. And get into these. Dirty diapers. Nothing in that. Nope. Nothing in that. I don't want another dirty hat. I've got plenty of hats. I made um, my aluminium compressor on the weekend too. For all the alp oil trays and that. Seemed to work pretty well. I'll put a photo in of um, what it looks like. Well, yeah, what it looks like and how the how it compressed it. Comes out in a little block. I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to work out a way of tying them together though. At the moment I've got them wrapped up with zippy ties. Hold it all together. Not much in this one. Toiletry stuff. The devil is that stuff. I want the plastic cup. What the devil is that stuff? The body shop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Winter Jasmine. The body shop. Winter Jasmine. Uh, sugar body scrub. Oh. Take that. Give it a try. bags in them. Nothing in that. Make that over there. Ooh, I was going to just about to throw that, and there's two in there. Shocker. Oh, I can't get it out. There we go. Put that way. Get rid of all that food out of there. Uh, still stuck to it. Come on, out you come. Turn him inside out and give him a bash. Yeah. That's what I've been crushing. Um, a whole heap of those. So I'll definitely put a photo in. A picture of uh, what the crush part looks like. Got a whole heap of them. And I thought, well, how am I going to crush them? Instead of taking them in loose. But oh yeah, I'll do it a different way. 
So that's what I've decided to do. I've um, converted a washing machine shell to a holding tank so I can just pop them straight in, the aluminium foil trays. adds up to I don't, I don't throw much away <laughs> what to bag at in a minute I'm just making it lighter we won't take that one I'm a bit picky that way Yeah, and like I was saying earlier about the subscribing, it was a big milestone on the weekend where we hit over the thousands. Yay! By the time you see this video, it might be more. Never thought it'd get that far. Damn. like it. Oh, put him up the back, pluck the bag out. Ooh, it's still got some weight in it. Like that bit of foil. There's another foil tray. Looks pretty clean, I'll take that. Dirty divers, that's why it's so good, then heavy. Whole heap of crap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, can you laugh? <laughs> well, we're crapping that. Dog's going off its head now. <laughs> Let it go, boo hoo hoo hoo. The owner's left the building. Must have had a party out here. Got a few campers in there too. Oh damn, look at that. Let's unearth what's in here. We will unearth all of that there. That's pretty clean and we'll take that. One more in this bag, and that bag is done. Get rid of that top bag. Looking like it, yes. Someone's making life easy for the kid. Yeah, we'll take every single one of those. Oh man, look at this one. This is a good one. It's full. How about we just pluck that out? Pluck out the rubbish then. 
I know where they crash. Let's go to get the rubbish, get the rubbish, 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 the junk. Go for the work ahead of me to uncrush those. The ones I can't uncrush, I put them with the aluminum foil trays. Put the rubbish there, put it that way. There. Wipe the food off the can. Nothing in those, good. Can't take it when it's got food in it. You got to empty the food yet? Cheese is the worst. Sticks to it. Cheese and bread. I've always said, if you're not willing to get your hands dirty, don't collect cans. Guys, and how clean they can be, they are not clean. They might look clean and all rinsed out. No, nah, they're not clean. You have to sterilize them. Nothing's clean unless you either heat it up, decontaminate it. Oh well, we'll take those. Take all of that stuff. Yeah, what well, I was saying, you know, it won't be clean unless you heat it up, burn it. <laughs> If you burn it, there's nothing left, of course. Got here, I'll take that. The stainless. Something unusual for that to be in here. Um, before you go through a um, real big, heavy treatment of steam, which is heating it up anyway. Here's another one. And that's what I do with my gloves. I um, put them through a steam treatment. Gets rid of all the germs first. Then I um, basically, after that I put them in the wash. And they're good for washing then. Get rid of the bacteria first. Otherwise you're putting bacteria in your washing machine. Bit of an inside off for everyone. It's got no label. We got one. See with the back of the vehicle here, I just pressure wash it out. I'll take those trays any day. Put that, and I think that's that bin. Yes, it is.
Ja wij mozi. Just thought I'd get this video for you. Birds flying on the road. Very sorry for the abrupt ending everyone, my camera seemed to have just shut itself off and uh, didn't want to record anymore, me not knowing, it's just one of those things that happens so I might have to get a new camera soon, but anyway, um, hope you like what you actually just seen a little bit, I did eventually get the heater in the whole load, I got a full load and I had to unload it, put it in a wool pack and yeah, can't like that, like I've done in many videos before. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. And thank you everyone that has subscribed. We have reached over our 1100, yeah, 1100 subscribers now. Um, much appreciated. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the flip side.